hi guys today's video i am going to show you how to use database index in laravel application and we can improve our database query result so let's get started and understand with the example so i have already downloaded a laravel application over here and i have also installed live wire starter kit so let me go and go to the terminal and run the application php artisan serve okay and now let me go here and go to the browser yeah you can see over here there is a registration page over here and then for the example let me go here go to the database my table plus and you can see that i have created a users table and there is a 30000 records i have just added for the example and if i go here you can see over here there is a i added da date of birth column so based on that i am going to explain you how you can add the index and let's see the query results over there okay so let me go and register a new user for the example okay so let me go and i will say just test user okay and test 34 and let me set the password and just say create new user you can see that over here in the sidebar i have just added users link and if i click on it you can see that by default there is a you can see 100 pagination i have just given from the 30,000 and you can see i have also given search by date of birth okay and i have also installed laravel debug bar so we can understand like what is the query time it's taking okay so this is very useful if you are a developer laravel developer then you have to install laravel debug bar so you can see how many views are load how many queries how many models are going to load in the backend side okay so now you can see and now let me go here to go to the database and let's randomly yeah date of birth so let me just copy this date of birth and paste it over here and click on search you can see that it search and getting the all the results of that particular date of birth of users okay and you can see this is the query in backend side running so let me go to my controller and app controller here user controller and you can see that by default i have selected users if there is no date of birth search that means simple give the pagination with 100 records okay and then if there is a date of birth uh, like search then you can see that i have checked if there is a date of birth is equal to this date of birth that only that field records should become okay so now you can see that this is very simple queries and you can see how many milliseconds it's taking 22 milliseconds let me paste it again search it again you can see that it's near about refresh it 15 35 millisecond it's randomly taking so it's taking time now let me add index to date of birth column and let's see the magic so let me go here and we need to create migration to add the index so let me create php artisan mac migration okay and it is asking for the name add index in dob in users table okay so now let me go to the database and go to the migration and you can see over here we have a created migration and let's go table and just we need to use index function and there will take one argument we need to pass the column name dob okay and just save it okay for the down function i am going to remove this index okay so let me go and table and drop index okay in the argument we need to follow the laravel pattern first they are taking the user so that means the table name underscore column name dob underscore this is the index word okay and save it okay so that means this is the name of uh, the index they will create by default from from the column name okay so let me go here and run the migration php artisan migrate yeah migration is run let's go to the table plus and go to the structure just refresh you can see that users underscore dob underscore index that added as over here okay now let's see and let's search okay so before that i'm going to run it again the project php artisan search and yeah and let me just refresh this and you can see that how many time is less than millisecond you can see over here okay and if i refresh it again you can see it just taking one millisecond so you understand how easily we can implement the index and uh, like it's taking very less time so refresh it again you can see that 
now let me remove again the index so let me just roll back the migration migrate roll back and run the application again and refresh it and you can see that it's near about 20 millisecond refresh it again 20 millisecond right now we have just 30,000 record but what if you have a 1 lakh record 2 lakh record that's it's more time maybe one second or something okay so you let me refresh it it's near about 28 second let me run the migration again so let me add the index again and run the application okay and now refresh you can see that just near about one millisecond you can see over here so i hope guys you understand how easily we can use the database index and you can improve your execution time you can uh, improve your query performance so at the end don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more videos about laravel and thank you so much for watching guys